Yeah. You wanna go to the gym? Yeah, I'm done. What are you making? Espresso. So guys in the Grand Cayman Islands, can't wait to take you guys to my push workout today. I like to keep the videos pretty different when I travel, you know? Oh, you're filming? <laughs> What's up guys? Hey, I'm gonna take you through my push workout. Can I'm gonna take my pre- a tractor scapula? Check out this new sour apple warheads dropping this Thursday. Delicious flavor. We just learned this trip that Max had to repeat the fourth grade for not being mature enough to go to fifth grade. Yep. I can see it. Can we call a cab to a world gym? <clears throat> we are here at Grand Cayman. Us four have been here for like four days. This is day five maybe? Saturday, Saturday. Sunday, four nights. We're never at work. Sick. We're grinders. We're hustlers. Blood. Thank you, man. Have a good day. I don't work out every single day I'm on vacation by any means. I try to work out, I would say, every other day. Today I'm gonna hit a chest, shoulder, and tricep workout. It's been right at about two weeks since my little bench press accident. I have no pain right now whatsoever, but I know that the pain kind of comes when I'm literally doing that movement. So I'm gonna put a little bit of load on the bench, see how it feels, and kind of gauge how my healing's been going. First movement, this should either be a really nice warm up, or I can blow my chest out, let's see. <laughs> it's a bolt scratch cotton. Did you just jump into weight? like it's a little oh. bit tighter. It's just mental. Nah, it fine. Yeah. I mean, it feels a little weird. We're only in my head. So like 20 reps, three sets, it's some butt pumping, 25 reps. <laughs> Tell us how you're feeling. I'm about to my final set here on the front bench. I just have 135 on that's all I've been doing. And to be honest, I feel okay. I, feel, I don't feel any sharp pain or anything, but I will say on each movement I've done today, when I'm fully contracted or flexed, I, I just feel like I guess a little bit different on my left side. I feel like this isn't 100%. It feels just a little like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it could also just be in my head. But regardless, I'm still gonna take it easy. Lightweight, really checking my form. Uh, I'm focused right now a lot on just kind of tucking my elbows in. So when you bench, when you grip, right? You want to pretend like you're bringing the bar, you're trying to bend the bar like this, and notice how my elbows are staying tucked by my sides. It's okay to have a little bit of a flare, you're gonna naturally do that, but you wanna be conscious of staying tucked in the whole time. So with really lightweight today, that's all I'm focusing on. Like this. Upper back tight, arch my lower back, tight grip, control, tuck, Take home point of this workout. Don't let your ego get in the way of your lifting. I'm lucky enough to have never had a major injury in my lifting career, and I don't want to start now. If you have a minor setback, like my bench thing, be sure you ease yourself into it. Don't jump to what you were trying to do. Don't try to test yourself and just be smart. It's easy to feel like you're not lifting hard enough, you're not pushing yourself, you're going too easy on yourself, baby yourself, but at the end of the day, if it takes you a few weeks to kind of get to get back to where you were, as opposed to jumping right into it and hurting yourself even worse, it's a better long-term play, so be smart. I'm hoping you guys can kind of hold me accountable because I know I, my ego kind of gets in the way in my sessions, so. Quick physique update. I'm probably in the morning, like a bloated 190 pounds right now. I've been on vacation for five days, eating my crap, drinking a lot. So let's see where we're at right now. Abs. You ready for it, ready, bro? Ready for the strengths? <laughs> well, I'm waiting for you to hit it. It's, oh, you are, never mind, okay. <laughs> Still look big up top, bro. Again, probably hold on some water. Charlie's at 220 right now. Yeah. I'm actually 170. We're all like a solid five, six pounds over where we normally are. Sick. Sick. Hey, Becca. What's up, Joe? 
For the first time ever, we are doing brunch here at the Caribbean Club. Apparently this is like a big thing here on Cayman Island, which I don't know why we haven't ever done it, but it's supposed to be really, really good. We haven't eaten anything, so this is our fuel for the busy day, the fun day we have ahead. <laughs> wow. Chocolate fountain. Alright. Good see you, good see you. Shrimp. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Wow, so much. Oh, perfect. I'm a simple guy, right? I like the same kind of foods. I want sushi, I want pasta, I want some bread. But it's funny because Heidi is the same way and Max is the same way. It's like two different types of eaters, right? Yeah, it's like 12 it's like, year olds and actual adults. It's like, yeah, it's like plate number two, I've got some crepes, some waffles. Plate number three, I've got some sushi. And then I got this, uh, it's like a really slow cooked beef. I can't wait to try it. So we're about to go to the boat like four hours, so I stopped eating after plate number three. Could have probably done another three or four minutes. Ooh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm getting an insane pump carrying this uh, bag of alcohol. Ooh. Oh, God. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Wow. Sick, Heidi. Got it. I got it. Champ. You got it? Yeah. All good. We are at Singray City. How was it, Shelly? Scary, but fun. How was it, Casey? Scary. Oh. But fun. But fun, yeah. How was it, Becca? How was it, Joe? Cool. That's the first time I've never been to the ocean before. Joe's never been out of the country before. He's got his passport. You guys want to see how he's drunk as? He puts his back here. Joe, were you always born with a vagina, or did you like grow that as you got older? He's up. Yep. That's not me. <laughs> Good job, Heidi. I was just thinking about life over there. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to day two of the vlog. We got. Everyone's just grinding right now. You got Shali, Casey, and Heidi. You got Becca and Joe over here. I'm gonna come back inside, it's just too foggy. But we had a really good time yesterday. Came back, ordered some Papa John's pizza, which is still here, because we're slobs. I had myself a protein shake, and honestly just chilled, watched some Netflix, and called it a night. Now today, we have just nothing but just a nice, chill day planned. We're just gonna enjoy this, and take this all in today. I do wanna say thank you to Danielle here at the Caribbean Club. She's been so nice. So she literally like made us a lasagna from her house and brought it to us. The alcohol stores were closed yesterday, so she gave us like a massive bottle of Grey Goose that she had. She even sent over seven, because there's seven of us, packages with like hats and these really nice t-shirts to help protect you from the sun. Thank you, Caribbean Club, for always hooking it up. Everyone's questioning my shirt. Joe, do you know why it's called Billy? Yeah. It's basically, it's been that forever though. It has. Yeah. You know, yeah. leave a comment below on uh, what that. Why, why is it called Billy? I bought the shirt because I support Casey Neistat. He's a cool guy. I'm a fan. It's leg day, so I'm saying. <laughs> I hope I got my face on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. You just did like three lunges and you said how hard it was. I am not. I'm a real man. I need weights. I need like 20 pounds of the quality sensor machine, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of feel this large up right now, so that. Uh, Max is a medium. Max is a medium still. You think that's what? <laughs> no, I was Joe. I was, Joe, I was saying, I, do you think I fill this large up well? <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> to start the workout, we're doing 10 sets of leg extension. Max is here on the hamstring curl. We're going to go about 12 reps each set. We're going to take about 45 seconds rest in between each set. So I'm not going to sit up from the spot for the next 10 sets, starting right now.
That right there is my very first ever jellyfish sting. I was swimming to go get a starfish yesterday, and I was, I, I literally, I had one in my hand, and I was like coming up to the water, and I just feel like it's really big sting in my arm. Just a really steady, burning sensation. I also have, I don't know if you can see, it got me a little bit on the front, but mainly on the back, so this whole area was just like burning for I'd say like an hour. The guy poured some, I don't know what, on it, and then everyone was like offered to pee on me and everything, <laughs> but uh, we didn't do that. I always thought to myself, why wouldn't someone just pee in a cup or something and pour it on themselves instead of like, having people piss on it, you know? But anyway, yeah, um, I just thought I would document that because it looks pretty gnarly. Right here behind me, right there, that's where I told Heidi I loved her the first time. And right here, where we're sitting, is where, where we-, we This is my favorite vacation spot I've ever been to in my entire life. I've been to a lot of places in the world, but it's not only the most clear water I've ever seen, but it's just very calm. Mm. There's not a lot of waves here at all. Uh, it's shallow, it's just like a chill spot. My drink <laughs> of choice. Anytime I'm on, a, I'm on a beach vacation, frozen margarita with salt. Usually I usually get doubles. So, this is the first one of the day, it's like one o'clock. I feel like drinking alcohol doesn't count when you're on a beach vacation. Is that a double? Yeah, but you really don't taste it. It's not so great. Oh, I feel mine. Yeah, I always sneak in some doubles with Heidi. Two of these, so heavy. get in the water, you just chill all day. Best days in the world. Best favorite days of my year. Now I'm with all my friends too. I, I, I kind of want to get some Italian tonight. The Caymans is ridiculously expensive anything you do here hotels or food or grocery it's just well, everything's imported here it's like a gallon of milk it's like eight dollars u.s the gas is like hey man. i think u.s probably like close to six dollars a gallon that's stupid yeah but look where we are the views within the next five to seven years i 100 percent want to buy a place here specifically on seven mile beach somewhere on this strip the property value here is it increases a ridiculous amount every single year. Whenever you're buying a house in Texas or in the States, that's like a major selling point. Oh, you should invest because you gain value in your home and all this stuff. But the thing like there is it takes so long versus here. It, it opens your eyes to see how, how quick property that's desirable, a vacation spot can actually go up. And uh, there's no taxes here. Wow, just, there's a lot of benefits. You can have a spot for vacation whenever you want. Rent it out. Like, literally, the Caribbean club was like, hey, we'll rent out your spot um, the whole year. Obviously, like if you don't want to stay here, we'll be renting it to a small percentage and then you take all you take all the profits and that's just uh, a big goal. But I believe the little apartment thing we're staying at right now is between three and four mil right now. And it was like 2.8 last year. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so. That's ridiculous. I know. Um, a few more years to save up. One day we'll get a spot here, Nala will come. I actually probably won't like it here too she much. She would hate it here, it's yeah. too hot. Yeah. I'll get her a little pool with like a, a lot of ice cubes in it. <laughs> She's in the shade. She'll love it. It's hotter in Houston here. It's more humid and hotter in Houston. It this is. This is drier heat. Shelly and Casey are in the water. What do you guys, what do you guys think about her? I'm a great judge of character, okay? When, yeah. I, when I see someone, I assess everything, and uh, nice girl. Nice girl. Heidi? I'm a terrible judge of character, obviously. I'm hanging out with you guys. Uh, I like this one. Actually, I do have one pet peeve. What? The other day when they were on vacation, Shelly was like, hey, Casey has a really attractive friend. I'm gonna set up this date for you guys. Super excited. I was like, man, Casey's gonna come through. It's gonna be the big, big day, right? A week later, her friends already talking to someone else. Didn't never had a date. Wow. Yeah. She kind of she kind of, of dropped the ball on that one. I think they look super happy. I like Casey a lot because she has her own she has her own shit going on. She has a hobby which she's actually turning into like a career while like having a full time job. I figured this would be a good moment to uh, go ahead and introduce Casey to the channel. So let's go say hi. I'll let you guys meet her real quick. This is Casey. Hi. This is Casey. <laughs> I've been dating for six months. I put a baby in her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Case, how are you? I'm good. Wait. I need to fix my hair first. <laughs> <laughs> they like you already. So you're going hard, bro. I got another round coming. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I just finished the second one. <laughs> yeah, I finished half potties too. Yeah, you're drunk. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Every right time now. I put her on camera, she's always like, wait, I'm not ready. Like, I have to I'm fix not. my makeup. Yeah. I have to fix my, my face. I have to fix my hair. I'm like, 
People love transparency. People love. I know. People. <laughs> wow, I thought you were gonna say you look I, beautiful anyway. Like no, 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 no. <laughs> people love me look like shit. That's what I do tell her that, but on top of that, we went to high school together, all of us, yeah. right? Yeah. We did. No. You're one year younger. One year younger, 24. Graduated in 2012. So uh huh. Christian and Shali from Dallas. What do you do for? What's your hobby? So I love to dance. Um, I have a full-time job, but I teach dance once a week. Sick. What kind of dance? Um, yeah. <laughs> Stripper? No, I'm not. Mainly like hip hop, but stylized dance. So sometimes we'll throw our heels on and. Have Can I post like an Instagram video here? Like a quick little yeah. something? Yeah. I work for ADP full time. I'm a sales rep. So, and what is that? It's like a, what kind of company? I'm a business consultant, so I sit down with um, businesses much like kind of what Cushion does. I mean, business owners in any industry. And more pay um, payroll, right? Yeah, kind of payroll about stuff? Payroll, HR, benefits, so health insurance, retirement, all of that good stuff. <laughs> how, how, how's dating Shelly? Let me ask you, how's, how's dating Shelly? He's amazing. Yeah? He's so fun. What's the best thing and worst thing? <laughs> best thing and most annoying thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the best thing is that he's super like funny, yeah. like, silly, and so we just get along really well and have a lot of fun together. Um, most annoying thing. The most annoying thing. He's like, <laughs> I'm very clean, but he's like OCD to the yeah. max. Yeah. Yo, I cannot <laughs> live with Charlie ever again in my life. The no. most annoying person to live with. He's so clean. He gets mad at you if you're not clean. One time, I literally stood there while he put all of like the throw pillows that you put on a bed. Yeah. Lined them up one by one, like up against the wall, and I was just standing there looking at him like, "What are you doing?" And he was literally lining up the pillows. Like, who does that? You just take the pillow, you throw it out to the and, side. And you even if you're clean but not like immaculate, <laughs> Charlie won't OCD. have it. I have OCD. He has OCD. Yeah. All right. Well, Casey, thank you so much. And enjoy the rest of the day. So thank y'all so much for watching the video. That's it. See you on the next one.